All right, guys, before anyone says anything, I know the camera angle's a bit odd and the camera's probably shaking a bit. It's because there was no one around to help me film and that also meant there was no tripod. So I've had to stack up a couple of boxes on this table and then balance the camera on top. One of the boxes is roulette drinking game and I'm not sure where that came from. I've never actually used that before. So anyway, that's my makeshift tripod. And the reason I'm doing this is because there's something that's been on my mind that I wanted to do a video about and I thought if I don't do it now, I might actually forget about it and this video will never come out. So before I lose my train of thought, I wanted to get the video done so we're having to put up with my makeshift tripod. So since I know this video is probably gonna be a bit unstructured, it means that I'm probably gonna be talking a bit longer than I should. And some people get pissed off about that. Some people like things to be over in two minutes. Most things, obviously some things being over in two minutes is a bit of a disappointment in life. But because of that, let's do a little TLDR, a too long didn't read, a shortened version. Basically this video is going to be about the Pareto principle, the 80-20 rule, that 80% of your outcome from things is the result of 20% of the effort that you're putting in so for example like this comes from it was the Pareto principle was from economics some of you may have studied at university or college or school and that kind of thing so essentially let's take for example like 80% of the wealth belongs to 20% of the people or in a company perhaps 80% of the revenue comes from 20% of the customers and so on and so on so I want to talk about that with your trading and so the reason this is on my mind today is because I started doing something recently which I'd really recommend you doing as well which is to take 10 to 30 minutes of your day, whether it's at the start of the day or at the end of the day, and just write like aimlessly, not just like random nonsense words like Jeremy in the peep show, but like just thoughts, things that are on your mind. So I've started doing this and it's only recently I've started it and I'm really seeing a lot of benefits from it. So sometimes you might get ideas for things that you can do, like for example, ideas for new content, things that need to be taught to people, or you might get ideas for certain actions and tasks, things that you need to do to improve your life or your work or whatever it is. And so just by writing that, you get things off your, off your chest a bit and get it on paper and it really helps. And so during this writing session, I guess you call it like a journal writing session or something, I don't know. But anyway, one of the topics that came up was the subject of priorities and how we can often set a priority, but it doesn't necessarily mean that it's the right priority to have. And as a result of that, it could mean that we're spending, say, 80% of our time, or let's just say the majority of our time, doing things that are not really yielding results things that you could cut out completely and it wouldn't have a material impact on whatever it is you're doing. Now, there are so many reasons that I'm bringing this up for trading because there are so many areas that people are, you know, prioritizing the wrong things, spending so much time doing things that are going to yield very little results for them in the grand scheme of things. And this goes from all the way from when people are learning to trade all the way up to when they're actually like trading profitably. It happens all the time. In fact, even for me, I get things wrong. And that was why I was writing it down where I start thinking to myself, Am I doing things the right way? Are my, priorities, are my priorities right here? Do I need to adjust something? Do I need to adjust the way I'm working or the way I'm doing things? And I think that the sort of key message I want to get across to you for this video, and I'll give you some examples in a second, but the key message is, are you wasting your time with your trading? Is your allocation of time to the different things you need to do appropriate or is it actually wrong? Are you prioritizing things even perhaps without thinking about it? When you think about the things that you spend most of your time doing in your day with your trading or in your week, are you prioritizing something when you shouldn't be and you haven't realized until now that you're thinking about it that that's become a priority because of how much time you're spending on it, how much effort you're putting into it? Is there something that's maybe much more important that you know that if you get that thing right, it yields good results for you, that you're not spending enough time and effort on? Is there a way that you can adjust these things? So let me give you some examples of things that I've noticed or things that I've also been through because I think it's much easier to relate to and to understand if you have some examples. So the first thing is the market selection service that we launched recently. Now, why did we launch that? Is it because it's going to help people find opportunities? Maybe, but not necessarily. Is it going to help them find better opportunities? Yes, I think so. Because I think that if you have the right market, if you've chosen the right market for that day, rather than just saying like, oh, I'm just following this market because it's the first one I came to, or like I looked on a five minute chart and there was a setup there. If you find the right market, I think that's half the battle won at least. Like you'll have a much better trade, much more dependable, less uncertainty, probably better profit potential as well by choosing the right market first. And then if you find your entries, then you're going to have something much more dependable. And I'd say this perfectly fits the 80-20 rule. So because of that, I wanted to draw much more attention to the market selection side of things. Because rather than someone starting their trading day by looking at the 15 minute chart or the hourly chart and trying to find just a the setup, they're starting from the big picture, 
ruling out market straight away, filtering just one that's going to get them something dependable and then focusing on it. And I think this is like a perfect example of the 80-20 rule in practice because rather than just quickly passing over or choosing your market, which might account for like 1% of your day or something, instead, if you spent a lot more time on choosing the right market, that's probably going to account for 80% of your positive results. As in like as a total, if you think that maybe 5% of that is choosing the right entry, 10% is the risk management. For, like the actual specific numbers and percentages don't matter it's more like the line of thinking that you have something here that takes a relatively small amount of time but probably you're not spending enough time on it that if you did spend more time like for each extra bit of time you spend on it it's going to have a much more like a disproportionately bigger impact on your end result so that's one thing like spending more time on your market selection and when you think about other aspects of your trading are there other things that it's like there's something small that you can do that you could change that's going to have a big impact and maybe you should spend more time focusing on that. If people say that trading is 80% about the psychology and 20% about the actual skill of it itself, um, I don't necessarily agree that that's the exact percentage, but you know, a big part of it is the psychological side, then shouldn't you be spending more of your time learning about how to manage your psychology? Spending more of your time adjusting things to allow your mindset to be focused on the correct thing. Like for example, when I talk about using lower position sizes, that's a small change to make and some people still want to have big position sizes, but if that's going to help the thing that contributes the most to your success, which is your psychology, because it's going to reduce the amount of loss aversion you have and so on, then that's a good step to take. So people need to stop thinking in the smaller things and start thinking bigger picture. What are the small changes that you can make that impact the 80%? And I know that I just mentioned market selection, but this also goes for planning. This is something I realized myself is that I traded my absolute best when I spend a lot more time planning what I'm going to do for that week, checking out the fundamental situation, checking out the economic news, planning exactly when I'm going to be trading, you know, looking through my analysis before the start of the week, looking back on previous analysis, going through the charts and trades from previous sessions that I can learn from, planning like that at the start of the week puts me in the right frame of mind to have a much better week and also prepares me in terms of actual like tangible stuff as well. So spending more time planning at the start of the week is going to lead to disproportionately bigger results for you. So if you're only planning for like five minutes or some of you are not planning at all at the start of the week, if you increase that to one hour, how does that impact your results? two hours and so on and so on. Okay, it's not exactly the 80-20 rule, but it's the same sort of principle that there's something that's like the seed of something much, much bigger that you need to think about. And this goes for people that are learning to trade and people that are actually trading, whether you're on a live account, a demo account, it doesn't matter. And it especially goes for those people that are trying to rush ahead and do everything right now. Because if you think about it, then that's like time that's going to be wasted in your overall development, when instead you have something that you're not, that you may be neglecting, not spending enough time on, that's going to have a much bigger impact on your long-term career. So obviously this is something that I think applies to everyone and not just in trading, but in life in general. I think we could all sit down and write a list of different areas of our life and work and trading where these 80-20 sort of situations exist, where we can just tilt the balance in, in favor of something else and have better results. But when I was thinking about this, this whole concept for the video, there were two groups of people that came to mind instantly. The first are the people that don't do enough of like broad learning or like broad development. Instead, they find something they're good at. Maybe they learn how to do trend lines properly and they stick with that for ages and ages and ages and make excuses as to why they're just focusing on that for now and not working on other areas of their trading. Whereas if they adjust it and spend 80% of their time on other areas, maybe they'll get better results and better progress and development than they are. And the other area are the people that want to do absolutely everything. And I sit right in that category. I try and do absolutely everything. And by doing that, you're probably giving too much time to things that don't matter as much as things that are going to have much better outcomes for you. Because you're trying to divide your time between everything, you're ending up you know, being too thinly spread over all of it. And this very much applies to me. Like, Let me give you a practical example that I'm gonna have to deal with tonight. It's something I've got to tackle this evening. So my inbox is currently in the hundreds of unread messages of trading questions because I always said that if people email me I want to personally respond to them the problem is it's built up and built up as the channel's grown as we've got a bit more popular I'm getting more emails as people realize that I reply they reply more and now I've got a huge backlog that even when I'm trying to work on it for 
like over the days and weeks, more come in. So people end up sitting in practically like a waiting list for quite a while. And because of that, because I insisted on personally answering every email that came into my inbox rather than letting the team help me, it now takes me hours and hours and hours to clear through them all, which is time that could be spent doing other things that would yield better results. For example, those people in my inbox, a lot of them will give up trading because they don't have the perseverance. They're probably asking questions that it's like they're, they're jumping ahead too quickly, they're gonna lose motivation and then they'll quit. So I'm spending hours on people that actually aren't going to put in the work needed to become like good traders. Whereas you've got people on the forum who are, who've gone through the course and like they've got a certain amount of commitment, they've got a certain amount of perseverance. And because I'm answering these emails in the inbox, these hundreds, I haven't got the time to focus on the smaller group who are actually going to you know benefit a lot more from my time and so that's something that we're addressing now where the team are going to help me with that even though it's not going to be me personally answering all of those emails it means that I can spend time doing things that are going to impact more people in a better way or let me give you another quick example like a relatively small change I used to go to the gym at midnight sometimes one in the morning like I'm a bit of a, a night owl I like to do things at night time then I changed it because I realized it wasn't so healthy I'd instead went to the gym during the day like in the middle of the day go to the gym then then I adjusted it quite recently a few months ago to waking up between five and half five in the morning and going to the gym then and wow what an impact it had on my day every single day my performance in all areas trading work productivity everything is sky high my energy levels everything is much better just from that small change so then it makes you start thinking, what other things in your day can you change like that that's going to dramatically change everything for you? And we've spoken about it before when we talk about optimizing your performance and keeping a journal of these things and testing and finding what works better for you. Anyway, I realize I'm ranting now, you get the picture and it's starting to get a little bit darker out here. I've probably been talking a bit too long. So we're gonna call it a day there. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. I'd like to know what things you think in your life or your trading or whatever is a sort of subject to that 80-20 rule that you're not giving the right priority to right now that you could adjust and get much better improvements from let me know down below hit that thumbs up button if you like this video and don't forget to subscribe hit notifications that little bell icon and check the description box for plenty of interesting links that's all for now thanks a lot for watching take care see you soon